Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. I guess it might be good afternoon for you and wherever you are in the world. But this is the Morning Forex Technical Report. Uh, today's date is April 24, 2023, where I take a look at the technicals that are driving the currency market. So let's get started. We'll start by taking a look at the euro versus US dollar and what we could the general theme in trading here today was a dollar was weaker yesterday and it's now stronger today. So we tried to move higher and break out of uh, the ranges that have been uh, defining the uh, pairs uh, for a while now, or at least some of the pairs, uh, and uh, we just couldn't quite do it. Uh, case in point, the euro versus US dollar. In trading yesterday, what we did was uh, we found uh, support buyers against the 100 hour moving average. That's this blue line right here. And that gave the go ahead to push to the upside. And in the process, we moved above this swing area through here where we had a number of different swing highs right there. And then it became a uh, support level before moving back and becoming more resistance. And, and trading on uh, yesterday's uh, trade, we uh, moved up to that level, back, came down, tested that 100 hour moving average. And then what did we do here? We've tried to find support right against the low of that swing area between 1.0999 and 1.1006. And that uh, that uh, ability to hold that support helped to push the price higher. And in trading here today in the Asian session, the market continued to the upside, but we ran into the resistance against the highs from not last week, but the prior week. And uh, that came at the 1.1066 and 1.1753. Those are targets that we need to get to and through in order to get this uh, uh, train moving outside of this uh, range that couldn't do it and instead we found sellers against the, that uh, swing area and the market has uh, moved back down now where have we moved back down to well we moved back down to this swing area right through here where we had the uh, support yesterday during this time where the market found ba based and moved to the upside so uh, what was once uh, support is now um, support again I guess I was going to say resistance but it is support again and so we'll see if the uh, 110 area uh, between uh, 1.0999 and uh, 1.10006 will hold support and in so far it is as the price is trading up at 1.1020 as we speak so uh good buyer good buying opportunity against this level with the stop below the 110 level uh, but we'll see how that all plays out as the day goes on uh in the uh, euro versus us dollar let's take a look at the dollar versus yen and uh this currency pair um didn't necessarily have the uh, dollar uh, or the the trendish type of move yesterday in fact moved higher uh, indeed but then we came into the resistance area against this old high here and then uh, rotated back down traded back below the 100 hour moving average in the Asian session came up found support against the 200 hour moving average early Asian session and then uh, then waffled above and below the 100 hour moving average and the 200 hour hour moving average down here so uh, Moving averages aren't doing much, but what we did uh, find is uh, support against this trend line. This trend line connects different lows through here and in trading here today. The market came down to that trend line and found support. Buyers, it's also within this swing area through here where we had a number of different ceiling uh, level levels through here. Broke above the ceiling, but then failed fairly quickly. Did it again here and uh, again this time found support against that level and uh, pushed to the upside. Again, a little messy right here on the break to the downside, but reestablished support against the area trading yesterday and again today, and along with this uh, trend line as well. So the dollar versus yen uh, buyers are, um, are holding support against that trend line. If we break below that level and below this yellow area here, it opened the door for further downside momentum with the 38.2% retracement as the uh, next key target. That's this uh, level right here. Uh, and then the uh, key 100 day moving average right there would be another key target on the top side we need to get and stay above the 100 hour moving average as it mentioned earlier we did try to move above it on a number of different hourly bars through here maybe about five or so trading here today but uh, could not moment maintain momentum and then getting above this uh, level right through here uh, near the uh, 134.70 level would be another key target to get to and through before we head up toward the high prices uh, that we saw in uh, trading last week. Uh, by the way, uh, if we take a look at the uh, four hour chart, I'm going to put this on the four hour chart, and you can see the importance of this yellow area up through here. Different, uh, this goes back in time, uh, so you have to put it out back there, and uh, we have that different swing highs through here, and then uh, uh, based against the level and moved higher, and then found support against it through here, and then 
fell below and used that level as resistance here and here. And once again, in trading last week, the market came up to that area and found uh, willing sellers against that level moving down to the trend line and trading here today. So uh, you can see the, the technical levels in play in this up and down price action here. Buying support against the yellow area, selling support against the yellow area, maybe this uh, 134.70 level as an interim level to lean against uh, for traders or give ideas as far as more bullish or more bearish in that currency pair. Let's take a look at the Sterling versus US dollars, our last currency pair today and in uh, trading yesterday. The, the, the market, like the uh, Euro versus US dollar, got a little bit of a boost from uh, being able to hold near the 100 hour moving average in the New York session. I guess that was a London session and push higher. We moved above this uh, swing area through here where we had different swing lows, broke back below that level and used the level as resistance right here, broke above that level, used the level as support here and moved up into another uh, swing area through here where again, we had a ceiling and then floor and then break back below and then we broke above that level but uh, could not maintain, maintain momentum toward our highs right here and then the market started to use that level as resistance here. And uh, again, uh, the, in here, using uh, the, the this swing area as resistance pushing to the downside, we are now below the converged 100 and 200 hour moving average as the market continues. It, uh, it continues its uh, non-trending type of uh, ranges. Ranges here could not get out of the uh, red box, if you will, and uh, back below the 100 and 200 hour moving averages. So uh, watch the uh, what those moving averages now as resistance, if the price is able to stay below that level like it is, Currently trading at 124.25 after coming back up and testing those two move averages. You can see on this current hourly bar uh, that keeps the sellers more in control. So there you have a look at some of the major currency pairs. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.